We're going to race forever and ever and ever and ever and forever racers by super smashing great games trademarked felt on the unity engine. You can pick it up for around five or six dollars of your particular local currency. What is it? The bouncy wobbling arcade multiplayer driving game. Jump into the action with no fuss race, roam, roll and crash and challenge as you drive around the game world day and night corners find shortcuts avoid other players while trying to set the best lap times or win the challenges this is check you edition this is where we take a game like this one that the developers sent us some keys for we uh we give it a play we give it our thoughts we uh, maybe do a little bit of quality assurance that the developers should have done before uh taking it out to the real world we give it a chair rating one chair means it's garbage two chairs means that's meh three chairs means it's pretty good four chairs means that's awesome we apply those to our categories of doom Next with working, shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So to kick this off, let's talk about uh, the operational uh, aspects of this game. Yeah, man. Then I heard that I, I heard that this was a pain in the ass to get up and running. Listen, man, we're just gonna go through. If you want our detailed, detailed notes in this business, head over to LinuxGameCast.com. Check out those show notes. But uh, for the audio listeners and everybody else out there, check it out. Let's run this down. Thirty-eight, forty, twenty-one, sixty. It runs. Runs all right. 1080p runs. Then again, runs all right more than just a second. It does one dude good. Does full screen good. Unity title. That's saying a lot. Uh, didn't say any disparaging remarks about my mother. Always look for that in a Unity title. Nothing to complain about. Is it just me, lads? Or did uh, it manages for the most part to hold 60? But even when it's holding 60, it's just something about how it's moving. It's like it's That's just. Basic just holding 60. Yeah. If you disable V-Sync, yeah, it gets I, I rid mean, of that. Pay, Pedro, I've seen it drop into the, the 50s, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So, so what, what you running this shit on? Uh, a computer. Why? What are you running on? Tacos? Uh, aren't you? I was, I was asking Pedro a question. Northern than tacos. <laughs> on the box of business, uh, the Humbuntu 1710 powered by Ryzen 1700 displayed at UHD. And that business is uh, pumped out with a 980. So, yeah, hitting 50 at any point. Now, this game has been in pre-release on Steam, even though they didn't have a Steam store page like for the past year. Originally, this thing struggled to hit 45. I know you're looking at the video. Maybe if you're not looking at the video, go back and think about him. Like, and you'll say what I will. How? That's the thing. Jordan, how did it run on Man. Intel land? Uh, well, this, I, I was honestly quite surprised given what we've had to deal with in the past couple of weeks. No unity <laughs> scream. of Nope. Mm-hmm. No bloop. A noop. It actually starts when you click play and it doesn't require messing around with an I and I file to make the mouse work. My God, on Fedora 26, 64 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 980, it, it, it just works. It's it's almost refreshing yeah. after a while of seeing like these really high profile games that are like, oh, we got cool graphics and cool gameplay. Oh, but it doesn't fucking work. Um, yeah, it, it ran about as smoothly as you can expect. Um, holding generally good frame rates at uh, UHD, which is what I just played. I didn't feel the need to knock it down to 1080p. Oh, yeah, I'll give that four chairs. Yeah, no, absolutely no fuss with this one. Uh, from I've been playing this game since before it was on Steam because I saw a post on Twitter. Uh, someone retweeted that this game was a, a thing, and it's like, oh, that looks neat. Uh, and they had, like, a free alpha version available at the time. And, yeah, it's uh, it works out of the box, no issues. Four chairs over here on 1604, yeah. still running 1604. Yeah, with the uh, Ryzen 5 1600 and the uh, GTX 1080. I mean, that's been kind of a big ask for the past couple of games, but uh, it's indeed, yeah. someone at least <laughs> tries to make a functional product that ships. All right, shiny and sounds. Um, oh yeah, that's for, that's four chairs total. Um, for shiny and sounds. Um, yeah, uh, I think it looks stupid, but I think that's the point. And the crap aesthetic kind of helps when, like, you're spinning out of control and you're about to get mad, but then you look at the game, you're like, no, I have no reason to get mad. They didn't put an effort into this. So <laughs> that that's definitely a thing. Um, 
I mean, I guess there's a soundtrack. I didn't mm-hmm. really hear it. I, I ended up putting on like a podcast just to like, you know, there's a fill, the, fill the void of. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Is there? I, I really could never I get around to it. it. I think so. <laughs> It, it, it makes I noises. I just, thought I may have heard some. Yeah. Nothing of this. There's uh, engine noise. Not, nothing of this abortion of a racing game made me think it had noise attached to it. Maybe it does. <laughs> yeah. It has I, noise. I mean, I'll, 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 music. I'll, 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 I'll give it two chairs because, like, shit shows up on the screen and it. The, the, ca- the camera is a bit fucky. I'll. I, I maybe have an issue with that. Oh, seriously, that, on the checklist of bullshit, <laughs> the camera. <laughs> listen, listen. The people are paying us for thorough reviews. All right. Okay. And uh, I, 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 I don't know. It's two, two chairs for me, Pedro. What, 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 what do you say about this? Well, um, I can see that there's some extra cell shading on top of just a general lack of textures, which makes makes everything look like it's made out of plasticine. But it doesn't, you know, play like it's made out of plasticine. You don't doesn't have that uh, when you like do a jump with a car. The there's no terrain getting deformed beneath the car. Nothing like that. It's I get that aesthetics weren't a priority here. It's a simple game. It's got simple mechanics, and the aesthetics are there. It's got just enough uh, visuals and noises to give you something. But nothing that'll blow your mind. So as far as I'm concerned, it gets two chairs. All right. So then. check this business out. Look at it. This is some super, Superman 64 looking type shit. That's what this is, man. <laughs> this this is something you expect to be able to run with that SGI chip on an N64. It's flat. It's textured. It's not ugly. You could say this is stylized. And you can also use a fucking programmer or man without textures. There's another way to phrase that. Uh, I don't hate it, but um, it's, it's no. Mm. I mean, it works. That, that's all I'm going to say, man. I'll throw uh, two chairs on this, but with the questionable performance, perfectly playable on a 980, it should be at 1080p. Um, it's. Uh, the cars are nice, uh, especially the ones with flowers on it. They've got a, got a pretty. Uh, there is some destructible, car. <laughs> destructible, questionably destructible damage. Like shit, kind of breaks when you slide sideways, but it doesn't completely get terribly fucky. So that that's the thing. Have fun with it. Um, n- nothing terribly great to report about this. Yeah. So. About two chairs, about the meh. Uh, that's why I said two chairs. Yeah, so that's two chairs for the shiny and the sounds. Up next is control. Then how did how did, how did that car handle being the resident? The player? whole point and the whole conceit of this game is is a racing game where your suspension is made out of because fuck you, and that's why. Those are the two mm-hmm. key uh, jelly jelly physics, and it's bad. It's supposed to be bad. And it is bad. And it's kind of brilliant and like that. They took time with this because every vehicle has its own bad to it. So you you can't, you know, you get used with a free candy van, then you can go over to the clown car. Those, the nothing that you've learned in the first is going to translate to the latter. So I can respect that with the controls, steer, petrol, brake. That's it. You don't need anything. You got three buttons. You can basically play this on a 2600 controller if you're creative. I uh, played it with the Steam controller. It worked out of the box, no issues. And something that's supposed to be fucky out of the box, I, you just got to tap out on the control section because how can you tell the difference? Man, four chairs. Eh, there is a uh, bit yeah, of a difference. I, 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 uh, because, you know, you you're letting me see the controls, but you're not letting me change it no matter how you know silly your game looks and how you know it's oh, it's supposed to be goofy you don't fuck with people's ability to play your game see this teeny tiny controller i got it because it's teeny tiny and it's uh it lets me reach all the buttons and by default the accelerate button is the right trigger which is this 
little nubbin here, and right next to it is the right bumper. So I kept hitting the right bumper by mistake, and I wished so much for a way to rebind it. But short of using the Steam uh, controller rebinding uh, options, you can't. So I ended up playing it with the keyboard because at least then it mapped both WASD and the directional arrows, which and I could switch between the two at will. And I tend to use WASD for racing games because I don't need the mouse. So yeah, no, no, I'm still going to ding you two chairs for not letting me rebind the controls. All right. Yeah. Um, again, I think it's supposed to control stupid, mm-hmm. but yeah, the, <laughs> the, the, the cars are wobbly and they'll spin out super quickly. And I, I get it. That's that's part of the game, but it still controls like ass. And I don't like it. Um, here, 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 here's another point. I, I mean, like if you're going at low enough speeds, like I'm able to complete rat laps and races and stuff like that and not completely go off the rails. I don't place particularly well, but you know, it is it is what it is, right? Uh, the only car game I play with any amount of regularity is Rocket League, so I keep expecting Square to be boost. Uh, no no issues on the uh, DualShock, though. Uh, everything worked out of the box. Uh, paired in Steam controller mode, so that was all very, very happy. God damn, man. You um, just, there, there's a game right there. We need rocket cars with these physics. Oh god! I, I, think, you, I think that's just like an option. Yeah, I think that's just an option in Rocket League. Oh god, this is what this is what's going to happen in the after shows, and stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give this two chairs. Yeah, it controls like an ass. I get it that it's supposed to, but you know, fuck that noise. All right, uh, that's two chairs for controls. Uh, let's move on to fun. Then do you have fun? Check it out. Real simple. Real quick. Forever Alone mode. Uh, it's wicked boring. You see, Pedro is playing in Forever Alone mode. I played a little bit mm-hmm. yesterday, and I joined Pedro's game, because guess what? He was the only other person on the entirety of Steam that was playing this game. It does have a multiplayer option, but unless you buy a couple of copies, a gang of copies, and hand it out, you're going to be playing by yourself. You're not going to be playing with bots. Uh, and the their idea of ghosts is like, come on, really? Is a twinkly it's sparkle, sparkle fuck that follows around like what the hell's this thing you're like oh that's your ghost you're supposed to be racing that all right that's the thing twilight the racing game um mm-hmm. this, this game's really only viable with either a gang of people to play it with or an obscene amount of cocaine both of those are winning solutions however out of the box with this even at 5.99 can't recommend it Yeah, this, this this just isn't my jam. I mean, it's a little fun to sort of dupe around and find all the different tracks. And you go into the Sky Track, and it's like, oh, that's good. it's like Rainbow Road from Mario Kart, except it's worse and crappier, and I kind of want to die right now. Um, and at some point, I'm just like, okay, time to take a break. How long have I been playing? Oh, 10 minutes. Ha. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so, like... I, I, I get there's I get it. There's like challenges. You can kill all the snowman. You can knock over all the cactuses. You can try and get the best time and everything like that. I'm not gonna do that because I don't. I'm not good enough at this game, and I don't care to get good enough at this game to do that. Well, I like Maybe in the video like, that Pedro's first thing to entertain. Pedro find, immediately starts finding ways to cheat. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm about the second or third lap. It's like, oh hey, no, that's that's a shortcut. I can just use that. Oh hey, my time got better. <laughs> um, and like that's the point, right? It's it's an interesting little take on racing, but may, may, maybe it's good for driving game fans who just want to like chill out and dupe around. But no. for me, I, I got to give it one chair. It's not doing anything for me. I'm, I'm entirely soft at the end of this playthrough. Pedro. Yeah. As this, yeah, as the uh, the Steam store blurb uh, states. It's a multiplayer game. Mm-hmm. If you're playing it on your own, it's not fun. It's, uh, when you think about it, it's kind of a self, uh, self-fulfilling self prophecy of noop because there's no fun to be had in playing on your own, so people don't play the game. If people aren't playing the game, there's no one else to play online with. And if there's no one else to play online with, well, people aren't going to be playing the game because it's not fun to play it alone and so on and so forth. Uh, I hope that the dev, I think it's just a one developer, I hope he takes the skills that he learned and makes another more complete game. This is a very good you know, experiment of mechanics. It's like, okay, let's make the cars really top heavy, give him jelly suspension, and uh, now you have to manage it. But it needs more. It needs... 
but it needs uh if you're going if you're going to go the full on goofy route add more challenge modes something else a bit different it's playing and learning the physics of the different cars is great but not when you're alone mm. no two chairs all right, well, that is one chair for fun, and put a bow on that. That is two chairs. This game, for every racers, gets a big old, big old strider. Final thoughts, anyone? No? Um, yes, an, an, an effort was made to make a game. Mm-hmm. I just think with fucking games like this, even golf with friends, you got to have a community around it, or else it's just boring. You just got a fucky game, and fucky game without friends is no. Nope. Mm-hmm. Peace out, bitches. It's a very good experiment, but it needs more. It make don't by any means don't stop making games just because this one isn't you know shooting you off to the moon like in the stars of uh, days past. Well, this is definitely but one of those situations where you can say sometimes more it. is less, uh, but sometimes you. Less this, is less. This is a little bit too much less. <laughs> yeah. So LN-SF user bin less to user bin. Get us out of here.